Dear friends, uh, today we have Ms. Swati Sri, the person who needs no introduction in Tamil Nadu. She secured all India rank for two in uh, Civil Service Examination 2021. She is also a topper in uh, Tamil Nadu. Her optional subject is agriculture. She scored a 303 in agriculture optional. That is also highest in uh, the all India level. Now I welcome uh, Ms. Swati Sri to provide her valuable inputs for uh, preparation of agriculture optional. Swati, yeah. Yes, Swati, you can continue. Um, so, uh, thank you for the wonderful introduction, sir. Uh, so, in this uh, video, I'll be sharing my strategy and uh, what I did to score uh, good marks and my book list, the sources that I referred. Uh, so, the first thing uh, that I did uh, for starting my preparation was uh, I referred to the syllabus. I understood what and all topics were there and what subjects are there and which subjects have more weightage so that uh, initial glance of the syllabus itself will give a good idea and the other thing is that we have to analyze the previous year questions uh, so uh, if we analyze the questions we can see that certain topics are getting repeated year after year so those are the very important topics and we can also analyze uh, the topics that uh, require more uh, that that are more predictable and so we can easily prepare these topics so first uh, preparation is uh, referring to the syllabus and previous year questions. If possible, we can also segregate the syllabus into, uh, sorry, uh, the previous year questions syllabus wise. Uh, so that will give a very good idea. The second thing is uh, thing that is needed is we have to make notes uh, from the source books or wherever, uh, whatever material we are referring to so that uh, it is very easy uh, for consolidating the material and revising. Since this uh, optional is more static in nature, uh, the questions will get repeated. So once we make notes, uh, we can have a very good hold of the subject. Uh, the third thing that one needs to do is we have to revise multiple times. Uh, so I uh, revised the subject uh, more than uh, 15, 20 times. So the entire uh, subject, I revised it 20 times. So that uh, will give, uh, that is very, very helpful for um, uh, answering the uh, paper in very short time. So we will not have mo more time in the exam. So we can uh, revise uh, many times and give the answer. And the last thing that is needed is answer writing practice. Uh, so for that, uh, I joined with uh, Shankar uh, IAS Academy's test series. So that was a very good test series. So we can join one mock and uh, give that mock religiously so that we will uh, analyze the uh, subject in a more in-depth manner. We can uh, analyze how uh, better we can present the answers. And we will also have a hold of how to answer the compulsory questions and the choice-based questions. So we, ha we have to make a choice. So it will take at least five to 10 minutes. So that uh, idea we can get by giving more number of mocks. Uh, at the initial stage of preparation, we can answer one question uh, on a daily basis from previous year question and get it corrected for feedback. So uh, this was my basic strategy. And for the most repeated questions, I did some value addition that I will be sharing later in this video. So uh, what I did uh, to score a high marks is that first, uh, the, first I focused on how to select answers uh, based on previous year questions. So this is uh, this will decide how much marks we will be scoring. So and this mistake I made in my first attempt, I didn't select proper questions. So I got I ended up uh, getting very low score. So in my second attempt, I corrected that. I gave more time for answer selection. I made sure that the question that I'm selecting, I have more content to present. It is more of technical in nature uh, rather than it is more GS oriented. So technical answers we can score good marks. And I also made sure that I can manage all the three questions uh, uh, rather than selecting a question, selecting a, uh, a question where only one or two subtopics I'll be knowing. So that uh, makes a difference. So that will in, uh, that will give a very good score at the end. So, so we have to select topics where all the three questions are at least manageable. So that is also important. And uh, second thing is that uh, with uh, the thing that I learned from uh, uh, the test series that I joined at Shankar Ayes Academy from SIR is that we have to answer at UG level. We have to give in-depth answers. 
uh, first of all, uh, the definition, we have to give standard definitions that is from the book itself. Uh, that should contain all the keywords and uh, uh, it's better than writing own definitions. So we have to by heart the definition and give it as such. So that will give a very good impression first. And second thing is that we have to give very specific examples as Sir will always be telling uh, that uh, examples need to be uh, in a manner that uh, we have to show that we are from agriculture background. So uh, the examples, uh, for example, if we are giving intercropping, then we have to give what crop at what ratio and which place this is followed. So this will give a very good impression. And similarly, when we are writing some plant growth regulator, we can give how much uh, concentration it will be sprayed, at what stage it will be sprayed. So uh, the specific name of the PGR, so that and all will give good impression. So specific examples. Uh, the next value addition that needs to be done is wherever diagram is possible to draw, we have to draw the diagram and it should be very neatly labeled. And uh, this will give additional one or two marks. Wherever possible, diagrams must be included. And uh, the other thing is that in uh, plant physiology, uh, there are cycles. So C3 cycle, C4 cycle. So there we have to definitely give the cycles. So that's uh, that uh, gives an edge. And other uh, value additions that one can do is uh, we can include recent data wherever example from current affairs, and we can give schemes wherever possible, uh, wherever uh, especially for paper one and the paper two last part production and consumption trends we can give schemes, and uh, we also need to focus on four four areas which are more scoring in nature that is from paper two. Uh, so that is uh, plant breeding, uh, cell biology, uh, plant physiology, and seed technology. These are very predictable in nature and more technical in nature. Once we prepare from the book and we give the answer as such, we can score very good marks. And uh, paper one is a bit tricky in nature because uh, the paper is more GS oriented. So everyone will be giving content, but uh, it is a difficult area to score. So there we have to identify the questions that are most repeated and we have to uh, try and give value addition. We have to try giving some creative answers that will make our answers look unique from the others. So this was my strategy that I followed uh, to get uh, good marks. And now uh, my book list, uh, I would be sharing my book list. For uh, genetics, I referred to uh, selected topics from BD Singh, uh, that is from the syllabus. And for plant breeding, I refer to two books, uh, B.D. Singh and Pundan Singh. Uh, so B.D. Singh is a very good book. Most of the topics that we have from our syllabus is covered. And for extra content and uh, for extra topics, I refer to Pundan Singh. And for plant physiology, I refer to uh, Tamil Nadu State Board textbooks, the old textbooks of class 11 and 12, uh, biobotany books. So this book has very good uh, uh, content that is uh, very easy to present in the exam itself. Like the cycles and all are very simple that can be easily uh, memorized and reproduced. And uh, for horticulture, I refer to introdu Introduction uh, to Horticulture by N. Kumar Sir. And for soil science, I refer to Introductory Soil Science by D.K. Das. And uh, for agronomy, uh, Principles of Agronomy by Reddy and Reddy. So these are the books that I referred. And apart from that, I also refer to my uh, UG class notes and uh, TNAU's Agritech portal and e-course materials and IASRI's e-course materials. So these uh, materials are very helpful. And apart from that, we can refer to any UG material that we are heavy, having any book at UG level uh, where content is uh, available. And one book that I would suggest for beginners is uh, the, uh, uh, the Introduction to Agriculture by A.K. Vyas. I found that book is very simple and most of the topics that we cannot find anywhere else is also covered in this book. So that's also a very good book. And uh, this is how I, uh, uh, this is the book list that I used. I did not uh, read the entire book. I referred only selected topics from all the books and I uh, made notes out of these books. I didn't refer the book till the end. I made crisp notes that is uh, used that can be used for the exams, and I consolidated the value addition wherever I get uh, into this uh, notes itself. And for certain topics, we can also do Google search and find answers like uh, agroecology and uh, production and consumption trends. These can be uh, this is from Google itself, 
and uh, there are also uh, ministry websites like uh, ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare uh, ministry of commerce and industry so these uh, websites will give authentic data that we can uh, use for value addition so this this is my strategy uh, swati uh. <laughs> Okay. So this is the list uh, that I used. Okay, 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 Swati, very thank, thank you, thank you so much for your valuable time, uh, students. I will uh, mention the list of books that are referred by Swati in the description. You can uh, refer it. Okay, okay, thank you, Swati. Thank you so much. Sir. Hey, friends, these are the list of reference books by mentioned by Swati Stays. In these books. Uh, we should not read the entire book. You have to read selected topics in these books based on the syllabus. So one challenge in agriculture is you have to refer more than seven, eight books for agriculture. There is no single reference material for agriculture. So that's why I have prepared a comprehensive material for agriculture. So for the entire paper one, paper two. So paper one also I have prepared a comprehensive material for the entire topics. So the entire content is actually prepared from uh, the selected topics from these books.